Welcome back to VMworld uh, 2013. This is theCUBE, our flagship program where we go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined with my co-host, Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org. Hi everybody, Praveen Akaraja was here. He's the CEO of VCE, a multi-time CUBE guest. Praveen, welcome back. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Good to see you again. So uh, yeah, this is a big show for you guys. I mean, it's uh, Absolutely. the V and VCE, obviously. Yeah. Um, and you're seeing uh, the uh, VMware really sort of make its move from a position of strength. Mm -hmm. You know, you're talking about 500,000 customers, yep. you know, to 20,000 plus people here at the event, so you got to feel really good about that. Absolutely, you know, VMware is a critical technology partner for us, key ingredient of the WeBlocks, obviously. Uh, you know, we're partnering with them extensively. Actually, Pat uh, highlighted some of our technologies in terms of VDI delivery, as well as the integration with the whole vCloud management suite that they announced, so uh, really excited to be here. You know, the boot traffic's been just marvelous, you know, getting a huge amount of interest. Uh, it mirrors in a lot of ways the traction we're seeing in the marketplace. So talk about the boot traffic a little bit. What are, what are customers, I mean, this is, I remember 2009, you guys yeah. announced, people were like, what is this again? Yeah. Uh, what's, uh, uh, and, and then you guys really nailed that, you know, sm smoothed yeah. out some of the rough spots and then really, you know, hard to market. What, what are customers saying at the booth? Are they saying, who are you? Are they saying, yeah. hey, I got another problem? Are you still in that sort of introductory phase? Where are well, we in that conversation? I think this year is really unique for us because uh, we feel like converged infrastructure has crossed the chasm, if you will, to kind of uh -huh. use a, you know, uh, a, you know, an industry term. We've seen customers now understand and get the fundamental concept of converged infrastructure and the benefits. So, you know, they really want to poke underneath the covers, right, and say, okay, well, what, what is, um, you know, how can I actually use converged infrastructure to deliver the results? You probably see people walking around with the 5X and 83X, you know, badges, which essentially is, uh, denotes the results we've been able to deliver, 5X faster, uh, deployments, 83x faster, high availability. So they want to understand how can they actually achieve those results in their specific use cases. So you know, we actually have some of our customers at the booth who are sharing their stories uh, in order for us to truly can explain uh, you know what the value proposition truly is about. Yeah, that's important because you guys had to go through a kind of show me phase. Right? Yes. First it was like, what is this? And yeah. then it's you know, does you know, does this really can three companies really work together and service right. me? And then. All right, but what can it do for me for real? You didn't have enough right. experience. Now you've got those, those, those data Absolutely. points. Absolutely. I think you know, we've got credibility now. Uh, we're on a billion dollar run rate, over 600 customers, uh, three years of, I would say, scars on the back, right? Which have been very uh, instrumental in, in shaping the direction which, which, uh, where we're going. I think most importantly for us, uh, you know, customers want to have a relationship now with VCE. Not with Cisco, not with EMC, not with VMware, right? Uh, they, they believe uh, and they understand what they can get from us, uh, both in terms of you know, the amount of customer support we can give them, the technical expertise on things like, you know, how do you stand up an infrastructure as a service? How do you re-platform to x86? How do you, you know, optimize your infrastructure for an SAP HANA type deployment, right? So we're at the point where, you know, converged infrastructure is accepted. We're like the next step of helping customers actually deliver, uh, you know, their application use cases on top of uh, converged infrastructure. So that's, that's, that, that's one of your priorities, obviously, is uh, a relatively new CEO, bringing that brand identity to, Absolutely. Uh, to, to VCE, and, and, and and you guys may have made some announcements, so I want to get into that, but yep. um, where are you at uh, as far as you know, the company itself? I mean, me, what, what can sure. you share? You mentioned a billion dollar run rate, any yes. you know, details you can give on there would be great, but headcount, yeah. et cetera. Yeah, so um, you know, we're, we, would, uh, we are at a billion dollar run rate. We exited um, our last calendar year, fiscal quarter, at a billion dollar run rate, so we're well on our target to achieving that. Um, 600 plus customers, you know, growing pretty much, uh, you know, we're almost adding about uh, you know, 100 customers, new customers a quarter. Um, and, we, you know, when we talk about customers, I think it's important to kind of qualify what we, what we, who we're talking about. These are Fortune 500 uh, large enterprises in the you know, energy, healthcare, education, 
financial sectors globally. Across the board. Right, and you know, we're expanding, we expanded into Japan, uh, we expanded into Germany and the Nordics, so these have been new theaters that we went into this, this uh, year, massively successful for us in terms of penetration uh, and the acceptance of our value proposition. You know, employee-wise, you know, we've, we've continued to grow, we're about 14,000, uh, 1,400. Like, wow, well, I missed something. <laughs> <laughs> 1,400 uh, plus at this point. Um, you know, continuing to add, you know, technical talent, engineers. You know, we're primarily hiring a lot of, uh, you know, folks who have data center expertise or database or application expertise because, as I said, we're now transcended from just an infrastructure player to being able to actually help our customers deploy and utilize the benefits of converged infrastructure with applications. Yeah, because you're not making the underlying products of right. the system. Uh, you're, you're leveraging that in terms of integration with applications yes. and of course your, you know, vision, your vision announcement as yes. well. Yes. So, so talk about that a little more. That's really where your, your engineering talent is going. Yeah, is so right? one of the key things as I came on board that uh, we really focused on was innovation, right? Uh, innovation is obviously you know, the heartbeat of any uh, you know, technical company. And, you know, at the end of the day, we, uh, we're fortunate enough to get you know, the $20 billion investment that collectively Cisco, EMC, VMware put out there and, and offer that in our products. At the same time, I think what differentiates us is uh, you know, innovation with, we're bringing to the fore table with vision, intelligent operations software. You know, it's unique in the sense that it's the first sort of converged infrastructure management software that truly allows you to manage a scaled uh, vBlock deployment. A lot, of, a lot of our customers now are have global footprints of vBlocks and they want to be able to see all of that in a single instance. And then we offer REST-based APIs to plug into a vCenter or you know, uh, if the customer has a different management orchestration system, they can program to it. In addition to that, the other part of the innovation we think about is uh, the services side. Um, you know, we, um, you know, we, uh, we have the fortunate, you know, I know trusted advisor is an often misused term <laughs> you know, in the marketing okay. parlance, but uh, a lot of our customers truly look to us to give them recommendations on choices they make on management orchestration, right, on you know, replatforming a major core data center workload. Uh, we had a customer of ours in the Northwest, you know, they insourced their IT, put up a brand new data center in Minneapolis, and uh, the entire data center was built off of vBlocks, and we helped them basically transition their environment from a um, you know traditional sort of you know um, a well I would say risk-based architecture to x86 over the weekend, right, without an outage. So those are the kind of things where we have built a set of uh, innovation in the services side, set of tools, set of processes. Uh, on which we're filing patents, which is going to continue to help us differentiate in the marketplace. Mm. Praveen, I want to ask you about that innovation strategy. So, yeah. um, what's the bumper sticker for the innovation strategy, or the short, the short version of the innovation strategy, high level strategy for your innovation strategy? And two, you guys led the way on this, mm -hmm. um, on the V-Block, it was really visionary at the time, yep. and now everyone's kind of following, yes. uh, yeah. which, is, which is obvious, it's natural evolution. Yeah. Um, and we just had io.com, George Lessman, they basically, yeah are talking about the data center, like yes. the, the real data center, the one yes. where the software will live in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's essentially got to be smaller yeah. and more efficient. So talk about the innovation strategy at right. a very high level, kind of like layman's terms. Yeah. And then two, talk about what is really going on in the data center that yeah. you guys are engineering with, with VCE. Yeah, you know, I think if there's a tagline uh, that drives our innovation, it's simplicity, right? Um, you know, our, uh, we, did a, we had a launch in February where we basically created the tagline Unleash Simplicity. And you know, if you think about the journey for VCE, uh, our first you know, entry into the market was essentially to say, hey, let's combine and break down the silos between compute network storage with virtualization to create a, a unique you know, converged infrastructure offer. So that, you know, that was basically simplifying the infrastructure. With Vision Intelligent Operations, we took the next step, which is essentially all about simplifying the operations uh, of that infrastructure. And then, uh, you know, we also launched this notion of specialized systems, where we said, you know, there's some certain key workloads, like SAP HANA, like some of the data bases, or some of the uh, use cases like VDI, which um, customers are willing to buy as an appliance. So if we're able to create a specialized system, we can further accelerate the adoption of those technologies. Right, so today a customer can come to us and say, hey, I want a, a thousand uh, VDI seat you know, installation, we could just rack and roll that straight out of the factory so it's up and running in 45 uh, in 48 hours. So, right? so the I.O. guys are on the right trend. You're basically saying, well, you're basically rolling in a turnkey solution right. 
for high-end known use cases. Right. That's and really the big deal. Absolutely, right. So it's, it's essentially, as I said, the underlying theme is simplification, right? Simplify the infrastructure, simplify operations, simplify application onboarding. So you know, our unique signature in the data center is, uh, you know, the, the, the reality is, look, I mean, you have uh, a lot of green fields and you know, God bless their soul, they have a clean sheet of paper, they can start with the right technology, you know, 2013 and go build from there. But the reality we face with a lot of our customers, particularly the Fortune 500s, is these are brownfields. They have lots of legacy infrastructure, uh, you know, architectures that are built a certain way that cannot be flipped on a dime, right? So, so you have to so be able to. So they've already been burned down, burnt out <laughs> fields. <laughs> so we need to be able to go into those environments and be able to insert the new technology and provide a bridge to this notion of the next generation data center or be able to enable cloud. So I think that's where we truly excel. That, that's sort of yeah. the, the hard, the hard uh, heavy lifting happens well, the, there. Dave and I were well, talking yesterday, great. bridging, to the, bridging to the legacy yeah. is a critical function. Absolutely. And what's your strategy on that specifically? Just, just to bridge it? I mean, so, you know, I think that, um, talk about that? it's a combination of two things. One is um, we simplify the way a technology can be ingested into the data center, right? So uh, when we go in, we sit down with the customer and say, okay, look, what does your environment look like? You know, what, what is the IP infrastructure? What does your storage overlay look like? Uh, we even co-opt some of the existing storage as they're transitioning their workloads onto the storage that's incorporated into the WeBlock. So we provide a lot of transition services and um, the capability that we bring in in addition to the product is really competent folks who have experiences with uh, you know, databases and application installations who can help the customer walk through that. So most times, customers want to want our engineers to stay back and help them not only train up to uh, operating the VBlock, but also be able to uh, you know, get the best practices because you don't get the benefits of converged infrastructure unless you're willing to also transition and evolve your processes and organizations. So Praveen, right. is also bridging to, you know, to the future. There, people talk yeah. about future-proof. You said earlier, you talked about, you know, God forbid somebody wants to use a different orchestration layer than VMware, sure. but yeah. it's going to happen. Are you doing anything specifically uh, you know, outside of what, what yeah. Pat talked about yeah. yesterday uh, to you know, in, in incorporate you know, some of those other trends, things like OpenStack and other you know, yeah. open platforms? So I think we've, um, you know, we're very customer use case driven. Right, so uh, we have, uh, when a specific use case comes in front of us, say we're looking at, you know, classic case for us is we have a, a private cloud based on, you know, VMware, and you have a customer that has certain workloads in a public cloud, whether it's Azure or AWS, and how do you create a bridge between those two, mm -hmm. right? How do you ensure that, you know, this data flow that's happening, or backup and recovery ability to burst, right? So those are the kind of areas we focus on in terms of creating that bridge between existing infrastructure and, you know, what's out there in the public cloud. Okay, so um, let's talk milestones for a minute. So we've heard the billion dollar run rate, so yep. we're waiting for Joe to say, yep, Hit a billion. Yeah, <laughs> that's 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 that's, that's, <laughs> that's pending. It's been a what other run rate? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what other milestones should we be watching? What are the what are the things yeah. that observers should be focused on as you know indicators of progress for you guys? Yeah, I think you know continued evolution of our innovation roadmap. So you know we're going to continue to focus on delivering new exciting capabilities, whether it's on the platform side, whether it's on our software management uh, capabilities. So I think that's a key metric. Um, the other area I would really watch is the evolution of our services capabilities. So you know we're going to launch some new capabilities hopefully in the next uh, month or so. I don't want to you know, let the cat out of the bag here and get into trouble with my marketing people, but um, the evolution of how we're helping our customers adopt the technology. So there's a set of services suites we're going to be launching. Um, you know, numbers are a good way to keep track of things, yeah. right? So uh, I want to be a little careful here so Joe and John don't pick up on this and set me a new bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I know that's coming, right? <laughs> uh, you know, we're, we're well ahead of all, all our target goals. Um, you know, as a private company, not free to share the, the, the numbers, specific numbers, but um, you know, Joe and John both quoted about 50% growth rate. If you look at the market, it's growing anywhere from 35, 30 to 35%, so we're going well yeah, yeah. north of what uh, industry analysts predict the converged infrastructure space to be growing. And uh, you know, analyst reports uh, have continued to reaffirm our leadership position, so you know, our ability to continue to maintain that and deliver a, a great customer experience is kind of how we metric ourselves. Awesome. Okay. All right, Praveen, thanks for coming inside theCUBE. Really appreciate it. Great to see you. Thank Leader you. Leader of VCE, um, really ahead of the market at many levels. We've been following you for four, it's our fourth year following VCE. Congratulations. Everyone's catching up uh, with, the, with the messaging. 
conversion infrastructure was once huh? to now, that's what everyone wants, so congratulations. It's theCUBE, we'll be right back with our next guest after the short break, day two of three days of VMworld 23 live coverage from San Francisco, Moscone South Lobby. This is theCUBE, we'll be right back.